March Madness is crazy. People will do anything to get in here. What, what's like one of the craziest things someone ever did? Craziest thing, 2012, I'm standing at the gate. It's 10 bucks a person to get in. This girl looks at me through the gate and she's on her boyfriend's shoulders and she says, if I show you my breast, can I get in? And I said, no, I'm not gonna do that. It's one in, one out. She shows me anyway. Uh, you know, you gotta try everything, right? We've all been there. 10 seconds, cops come, arrest her. Do the cops have like some kind of boob scanner? Oh, or they were they were, oh. they were right beside oh, okay, her. Okay, fair enough. Put her in the paddy wagon. Her boyfriend stays for the game. I let him automatically. Did you get it? Did he have to pay 10 bucks? No, I let him in for free. He's oh, a good guy. Atta boy, all right. Well, there you go. Hey, this is Adam Jackson with Vice Sports. I'm here in Louisville, Kentucky for what are arguably the four most exciting days in sports, the opening of March Madness. The Wildcats will be playing back here momentarily at the KFC Yum Center. We can't get in, so we're gonna go to a bar in Lexington about an hour and a half away. Don't worry, we'll be back tomorrow in Louisville because the Cardinals are playing in Seattle. So we're gonna go to a different bar, here. Tin Roof. This is in Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, this is the opposite of Louisville. Uh, these guys are Wildcat fans. These are Wildcat people. And we are going to hopefully get some trash talk. We'll see what happens. Loserville is how we say it. I don't want to go to Loserville to watch my cat play. Loserville. Oh, that's it's perfect. It's right? pretty clever. It's, it's not bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Last year for the championship game, a guy comes up to me and he says, you know, I know it's one in, one out, but my buddy's outside. He shakes my hand and he says, will this help? I look down and, it's boobs? There's $250 in my oh. pocket. I said, make a hole, get that guy in here, let's go, let's <laughs> do it. When it's tournament time, when it's March Madness, the entire city lights up, everywhere is blue. It makes me sick to even wear red. I have been a fanatic since before I was born. <laughs> I was actually born blue. Okay. I had to be put in an incubator for three days. <laughs> uh, born blue, literally and figuratively. Yes, but it all worked out in the end. You're blue. fully formed. She turned into an adult, everybody, everything's exactly. fine. You know, it's always up for bragging rights. I mean, last season, I mean, we knocked out the defending national champions, and that was Louisville. I mean, and then I, I cried. Like, I literally cried because that was like, it felt like it was an earthquake that was shaking. And I was witnessing it. I watched it right here at Tin Room. We're sitting at 34 and 0 right now, and it's just such a pretty number. I just hope that 40 and 0 is the next beautiful number to happen to us. I mean, it's a little nerve wracking. We start to catch cheers in the middle of crowded places just to figure out how big of a fan base that we actually have. You'll see the cats chant from time to time, which is the. What's that one, sorry? It's a. One, two, three. Oh. C A T S. Cats, cats, cats. You got it. C A T S. Cats, cats, cats. All day, baby. Got it. Got it. Nailed it. C A T S. Cats. <laughs> I kind of lost it there, that's okay. Don't worry, between the levels we got it, yeah. Oh, All right, so I'm back in Louisville at Sports and Social. Cardinals game tip-off is at 410. It is 110. Um, all right, cool. Well, I'm uh, going to get to uh, pre-game practice. So I managed to find some cheerleaders, which is just fantastic for me. Uh, we, uh, we like the guy, huh? Classic. How do you do an R versus a D? Okay. We'll see. You got to yeah, see so C. Okay. A. A. R. Uh, you got a fist bump. That? There you go, there you go, there you go. Alright, we're up to R. So when in doubt, just clap it out. C-A-R-D-S, there you go. When in doubt, clap it out. 
When it's game day, it's crazy. Like, there's no quiet street in Louisville. It, everyone's always, like, routing up the crowds. So I'm outside Sports and Social. I've been playing it out here as well. It's a very close game. Let's see what's going on. I'm here with DJ Z Nice. He's actually the Indiana Pacers DJ, but we caught him in Louisville. I came to see my family. I always come back in town. I would ever got to support my car. I bleed red all day, every day. Actually, my grandfather is a UK fan. So we rag on him all the time. For sure, for yeah. sure. Like he's still yeah. a part of the family. Yeah, but a lot of the houses that you find are divided. Yeah. If it's just a house divided, you might, you know, the mother might be a UK fan, father might be a UFL fan. He's a bitch. Sometimes it works, you know? It's yeah. like the Montagues and the Capulets. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, so that is Kentucky College basketball. What can I say? Lexington was wild last night and we won. Louisville was wild tonight and we won. Kentucky rules college basketball. Let's go eat some fried chicken. R-C-A-R-D-S-C-A-R-D-S-C-A-R-D-S-C-A-R-D-S-C-A-R-D-S-C-A-R-D-S-C-A-R-D-S-C-A-R-D-S-C-A-R-D-S-C-A-R-D-